Hey guys, it's David here. I want to show you some port range forwarding on a, a Linksys router. And uh, it doesn't really matter what router you're using. They're all, they all look different, but they all do the same thing. So you should be able to find the settings on your router too. But I'm using a Linksys WRT 54G router. But first of all, to do port range forwarding and other settings on your router, like, like checking your WP settings and setting up your WPA. I'll show you how to do that too. But first you want to find out, I'm going to assume you've hooked up your router and it's connected and everything and you're ready to go. So the first thing you want to do is find your default gateway, which would be your router's IP address. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open your command prompt by either, if you're using Windows 7, you can just type CMD right here. But if you're using, uh, other operating systems. I, I'm sure you can do this with Vista too, but uh, say you're using Windows XP, you're going to click the run button over here. It'll show up like about in this area and you'll type CMD in that box instead. So you'll do CMD here and what you want to do is you want to type IP config and you want to look for the, the uh, connection you're using. In my case I'll be using this connection right here. And uh, your default, my default gateway right here is 192.168.11. So I'll enter that into my uh, browser here. So 192.168.1.1. And uh, it's going to ask me for my username and password. Uh, I'm using a Linksys router. So in, in uh, my case, the default password would be admin, but I have mine set up, so I'm going to type in my information. Uh, if you don't know your router's information, uh, I know D-Link, sometimes, sometimes the uh, password and username, the default ones are on the bottom of the router, so if you look at the bottom of your router and uh, uh, Belkin's, I'm Sometimes they come with a card that you can look at that's that's in the router uh, like itself, and you can just look at the card for that information. And uh, just sometimes it's blank; the password's left blank, and the username's left blank. It, you you should probably set that up later. But uh, I'm looking at my Linksys router now, and. Uh, we can, the first thing we want to do to set up our router is uh, we want to set up a wireless WPA2 uh, security. So uh, we go to wireless, click wireless, click wireless security. And uh, the thing the thing you want got to know about this is WEP is extremely easy to hack. So never use WEP if you, yeah, this one right here. Never use that. Use WPA or WPA2. Uh, this is my passphrase for my router. And this is my uh, uh, renewal key. And uh, uh, you'll go over to uh, applications and gaming. Oh, well, you might you might name your router too if you want. You don't have to. But as far as port range forwarding goes. See, I named my router Kilroy for sticks. If you're a sticks fan, you'll get that. It, uh, I could change my its IP address if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to because I don't have a reason to. And uh, I'm going to click. I'm going to go into port range forwarding now, which is what most of you are probably watching this video for. And uh, port range forwarding is pretty simple. And uh, I'm going to use Minecraft as an example of a game you would do port range forwarding or HC or Halo Custom Edition um, or Half-Life 2 uh, Half-Life 2 I know uses these ports and here's the Minecraft ports uh, Minecraft uses port range 25565 to 25565 for the TCP uh, port protocol and uh, you'll need to put in your your uh, IP address for your computer here, the computer that will be running the server. 
In order to find that, it would be your internal IP address. So in order to find that, we would go back to the window we typed ipconfig in, and we would look at IPv4 address, and that will be the address you put in down here, so 102. And if you want, if you have an Xbox 360 and you want an open NAT server uh, for your Xbox 360, don't even bother opening ports for your Xbox 360 or your PlayStation 3. Don't even bother opening NAT ports. That's a waste of time. Uh, if you have an Xbox 360 or PS3, go into its uh, settings and look at find figure out its IP address and the IP address for my Xbox 360 is uh, 192.168.1.101 you put this uh, its IP address right there and it puts the uh, Xbox 360 in a demilitarized zone or a DMZ meaning uh, open that server in short so uh, Go for that if you're if you're try if you're here to set that up. Uh, it works for PlayStation. In fact, it would work for a computer, but I wouldn't recommend doing that with uh, your computer. So do that with consoles, but I wouldn't recommend it with a computer. Could, but then your router's not a firewall. You'll have to rely on Windows firewall, and you should actually rely on that anyway. But uh, so. Um, the basic rule I follow by is if you don't know what the setting does, don't change it. I know what DHCP is, but I don't know if anybody else knows what that is, so don't don't change this if you don't know what it is. That's your default uh, naming server. And uh, cool. That's uh, how you do it. Administration. I click the administration tab. And that's where you set your password for your router. If you want one, I suggest writing it down. And uh, the, the type of server your router will be running is HTTP protocol or HTTPS. HTTPS is uh, encrypted. Uh, I, I don't do that because my router is already encrypted WPA2. And uh, you can do remote management and whatever else settings you want. You can also upgrade your firmware here. And uh, I would be careful doing this if I were you, because you can brick your router if you if you don't do it right, or you use the wrong file, or you use the wrong firmware. Uh, you could a uh, configuration management, and you can reset it to factory defaults from here if you really want to. Uh, you can. There's also a button on the back of your router that you press and hold for 30 seconds that will reset it to factory defaults. And uh, have fun with your gaming. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope I helped.